Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. Today, after seeing an ad online, I thought I would take a look at the Light Gaming PC's website to see basically, is this a good deal? Is this really a, a PC company that you should be purchasing a build from? Does it present good value, at least on paper? Let's take a look at it. So I don't know about you, but I do quite a bit of, you know, just internet perusing. And I got an ad for light gaming PCs. And this is not the first time, so I figured I would go to the website and check it out. And um, it's interesting. So let's take a look at light gaming PCs and see if they present good value for somebody that may be looking to purchase a gaming PC. Okay, so let's take a look here. Light gaming, custom PCs, build kits, pre-built PCs. Now I'm gonna focus on the pre-built PCs, at least today. If you wanna see the custom PCs, then uh, click that like button and uh, tell me that you wanna see the uh, custom PCs taking a look at. But uh, we're gonna take a look at the pre-built PCs. Okay, Light Venom PC. You know what? I'm gonna sort these by price the cheapest pc out there the light crown v3 this is a ryzen 5600g so six cores 12 threads 8 gigabytes of ram and that's concerning for a couple of reasons first off 8 gigabytes is not enough uh, especially considering this is an apu with no graphics card uh, the other reason it's not enough is that's almost certainly one stick of ram okay uh, the Light Amber PC, Ryzen 2600, okay, 16, that's interesting, it's, it's more expensive, lower end CPU, significantly, much better RAM configuration though, I'm sure that's a 2x16 kit, uh, GTX 1650, uh, let's scroll down and look at some of these more expensive ones, I'm gonna take a deep dive into that cheaper one here in just a minute though. Uh, their thousand dollar price point will get you, uh, an 11400F, 16 gigs of RAM, a 3050, Ugh. Okay, so they have a two thousand dollar PC, or just shy, that'll get you a 5700X paired with an RTX 4070 Ti, which, it's not the worst deal out there. It's not the best deal either. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to take a deep dive here at the Light Crown V3. This is the cheapest pre-built PC Light uh, gaming PCs currently has on their website. And by the way, I'll link components to this build down below so you can kind of see how it stacks up in real time what they have listed here versus what the computer would actually cost if you were on like Amazon building it yourself. So the Ryzen 5 5600G, let's take a closer look here. Uh, they have this part listed at $169. That's a little bit more expensive than a 5600G, but it's it's not a crazy upcharge on the processor. I think it's about a $20 upcharge compared to uh, when I checked Amazon before this video. The RAM I do have an issue with because not only is that RAM not very fast, which you're going to want to pair the 5600G with as fast of memory as you can get. But frankly, it's really poorly priced. So you can actually get that RAM for less than half the cost. You can get 16 gigabytes for less than $49 right now, like $38, $39. So that's a terrible deal. That's like, it's a huge upcharge on eight gigabytes of slow DDR4. Bad deal. I do appreciate that they list the Vega 8 graphics, but they do not upcharge you for it. Like it's part of the CPU. And I could see them taking advantage of people that may not be fully aware of what they're getting. So that's good that they list that as $0. It's included in 5600G. That NVMe drive is way more expensive than it is in reality. You can get those for significantly cheaper right now as well. The motherboard's not a bad price. It's it's not a great price, but a 520M motherboard, if it's provided that it is brand new, I assume it's brand new since you're buying a new PC, but that should be fine. You could probably find them slightly cheaper than that for an A520, but again, no major issue there. A 550 watt power supply from Gamdius, uh, $59. That's not an exorbitant as far as an upcharge goes. The Zalman S2 case, which is correctly shown here, that's actually an excellent price. Like, you will not be able to find that case for $39 in the wild 
brand new. So I'm actually more than happy to accept that price from the biller here. That's a, a fantastic price. The stock cooler, once again, very glad that while they do list it, they don't upcharge you for it because again, if you purchase the CPU, it comes with the 5600G and they do give you a little bit of a charge for Windows 11 install and stress test. I would assume that's an activated copy of Windows 11 and if it is, that's a perfectly reasonable amount to charge for not just the install but also the stress test. I would love to know if their stress test will catch errors like if it's running too hot will they actually catch it or is it really there just to make sure the pc boots up and doesn't like blue screen so that'd be interesting to know and then they give a build fee of 100 dollars. so the parts list uh totals according to their totals 479 dollars. the build fee itself is about a hundred dollars and just so you're aware with current pricing and availability I'm coming up with more like $402. So you can absolutely build this PC cheaper than Light is trying to sell it to you for. Even if uh, their parts obviously were more accurate, you would still be able to build it cheaper because they also do the build fee, which is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, they have to do some sort of fee because they're a company. They need to make money. So ultimately, Light is pricing this up by about $175, including the build fee, to build it and ship it to your door. Ultimately, for some people, that's a no-brainer and a hard pass. For others, it would actually be a no-brainer and a yes, please, because if you've never built a PC before, that's not a crazy huge upcharge on the PC. Now, I do have a major gripe about this PC, and that's basically that RAM configuration makes zero sense. The good news is if you do purchase this PC, then I would just strongly recommend going ahead and purchasing yourself a RAM upgrade and slotting that in yourself. And that's something that even if you're a complete novice, that's super simple to do. And then of course you could get faster RAM in a more logical configuration for the Ryzen 5 5600G. Okay, let's click this upgrades button here. You can add Wi-Fi for another $30 or $70, depending on which uh, Wi-Fi adapter you purchase. You can get a mouse, just buy that on your own. Ditto keyboard, once again, just buy that kind of separately on your own. No reason to spend extra here. Uh, ditto monitor. The mic. Okay, so uh, really quick mic plug here. Um, the, the Siren V2 Mini I have seen great reviews about, uh, so that might actually be a really good option for you. I really like this thing. This is a uh, five fine like um, K668 or something like that. I'll link it in the description along with the parts list. Um, this is both a USB and XLR mic, so you can grow with it. And um, it's a dynamic mic. It actually is quite good, and it's, it's $80, so it's a little bit cheaper than uh, the, the Siren V2 there or the uh, V2X that is being uh, listed there. Wait. Oh, Windows is not activated. Really? Not ultimately a big deal, but you can buy a key from a third-party seller and um, get it cheaper than $99, or you can just roll with Windows unactivated, which is probably what I would recommend doing in that case. So conclusion time with the light gaming PC here. Um, first off, most of their builds do seem a little bit overpriced, but understand this is a company that does have to make money. So I don't actually have huge complaints about their pricing. They seem relatively competitive. Um, I would love to get my hands on a PC. If you're from light and you're watching this, feel free to send me a PC. I would love to take a look at uh, your build quality. I'll, I'll, I'll even pay to ship it back when I'm done with it if you want me to, but I, I would love to take a look at the actual build quality, but at least on paper, this is not a bad value um, compared to other builders. It's comparable, and the pricing is very transparent, at least even if they are upcharging you on certain components, at least the pricing is very transparent, and you know I can appreciate that. So if you're out there and you do own a light gaming PC, let us know in those comments Comments down below what the build quality was like for you. If there's other gaming PC companies you want me to take a look at their overall value uh, through their, their purchasing process and that sort of thing, let me know those thoughts in those comments down below. Once again, links to the uh, parts list that replicates this PC will be in the
the description so you can compare how uh, the light gaming prices are to the actual components if you purchase it yourself. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I will let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you all in the next video.